What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of TVP Versus, where we'll put the best of the best in Las Vegas head to head to see who ultimately reigns supreme. If you're new to the channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button to join the TVP fam and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any content that's uploaded to the channel. In today's episode, we have a battle of luxury rooms. We've got an MGM property versus Caesars property. Today, we're going to do the Resort King Room at the Bellagio versus the Octavius King Room at Caesars Palace. So without further ado, let's get started. Before we jump into things, I want to give a special shout out to all of y'all who showed so much support to the last episode of TVP Versus. I appreciate all the comments, all the feedback and engagement, and I appreciate all of y'all who shared y'all thoughts in the comments. Like I said, if there's certain hotels or certain rooms at certain hotels that y'all want to see, leave them in the comments below and let me know, and we can put them head to head to try to get a good Versus series going on. So today we're going to put this room at Bellagio, MGM's iconic property. We're going to put this resort room against the Octavius room at Caesars Palace, which is Caesars iconic property in Vegas. And we're going to go ahead and look into these rooms and see what we got. Now, walking into the Bellagio room, once you come into the room, you've got a good entryway space. Um, you definitely will get a luxury feel. As soon as you step in, you'll know you're in a very nice room. You've got a full body mirror off to the right, but it does feel like you're in a nice upscale room. Same thing is going into the Caesars Palace room. Once you come in, you definitely have a bigger entryway space, but it's such a clean and modern look. You'll for sure know that you're in a luxury room. So off of the initial eye test, both of these rooms are luxury rooms. When you come into the Bellagio room, it does feel like a luxury room and it does give you a nice luxury feel when you walk in but when you go into the caesar's octavius room that i factor and that wow factor instantly hits you there's a little bit more of a space in the entryway not that that's really that much of a big deal but it definitely is going to catch your attention and you're for sure going to know that you're in a luxury room so just off the eye test just off of what would look nice to the modern eyes we would say the slight edge will go to caesar's now let's check out the bathrooms so walking into the Bellagio bathroom, you have a soaking tub off to the side. You do have a single vanity sink with a nice bright mirror above the toilet next to it. There's no water closet in this room for the toilet. And you do have a walk in shower with a nice space. So you have a good, nice bathroom space in this Bellagio room over on the Caesar side. As soon as you walk in, it's definitely going to catch your eye and definitely looks updated. You've got light switches on the wall for your walk in shower. You've got a nice shower head and the tiling goes all the way up. You also do have a water closet for your toilet that does have a phone in case those need to call for help. You do also get dual vanity sinks with a mirror above each sink and there's a vanity mirror off to the side. But the selling point for this bathroom is going to be the jacuzzi tub. There's nothing like a jacuzzi tub. And most people when they're going to Vegas love soaking tubs, but the fact that you have an actual jacuzzi tub is an added bonus. So the bathrooms in both of these rooms are really nice. They're definitely a luxury bathroom. You get soaking tubs in both walk-in showers in both. But the Caesars room, as you saw, has a jacuzzi tub, also has more updated tiling. Even though this isn't considered a newly remodeled room, the tiling still definitely seems updated and it seems more modern. So the bathroom edge is going to go on over to the Caesars side. So let's check out the closet in the bedroom. Walking out of the bathroom in the Bellagio room, there is a panel on the wall that will open up the drapes and the shears. Um, then once you come in the room, you'll see your king bed. To the left of it, you have an iHome radio. Then you have your nice, comfortable king bed that has a footer at the end with the blue color to match the blue accent wall. On the opposite side, you actually have the in room safe in a drawer with the switches above that to control the panels from the bed. And in your closet, it lights up when you open it. You get complimentary rose slippers and you get an iron and ironing board. Heading over on the Caesar side in the closet, it is right outside of the bathroom. You have an iron and ironing board with some hangers and a luggage rack. No robes though. But once you get to the bedroom space, you do have a nice king bed. And then off to the side of the king bed, you do get an iHome radio as well with some switches to control the lighting as well as the privacy settings outside. So we're going to compare the beds and compare the bathrooms. I will give the edge actually to Bellagio on this one. Um, the blue accent wallpaper over the bedding gives you more of a luxury look versus the king bed in the Caesars room, which just seems like a nice king bed, but nothing that really catches your eye. As far as the closet go, there is a convenience on the Caesar side because you have a jacuzzi tub, 
but most people when they get out of a tub would love to put on a robe and to put on some slippers so as far as this being a luxury versus luxury battle the fact that the closet space looks more luxurious the room it feels much more luxurious on the bellagio side i'll go ahead and give that edge to the bellagio so let's check out the entertainment space in the bellagio room across from the bed you do have a wall mount of flat screen tv you'll get ice bucket and cups and you can also purchase some snacks if you choose to do so under the tv is a connectivity panel to hook up your media if you bring the media devices you have drawers below and then there's actually a mini bar where you can purchase drinks inside if you want to um, you do have a couple of chairs and then if you're here on business you do have a desk where you can actually do some work or an extra space if you need to do so over on the Caesar side in the entertainment space, you do have a wall mount of flat screen TV. This one looked a little tilted, um, but you have drawers under that as well. And then off to the side of the drawers, you also have a work desk space that also has a connectivity panel. So you can also hook up media in this room as well. Under that connectivity panel off to the side, you also have a mini refrigerator, same as you do in the Bellagio. So you can purchase drinks if you choose to do so. But you actually get a living room space here in this Caesars room. So if you have extra guests, you will have a sectional couch and a table. So you do have more space to accommodate more people. So when we're going to compare the entertainment and living spaces, you could say the simple fact that there is an extra space for a living room in this particular room at Caesars that allows you to accommodate more guests if you need to do so or if you just want to have a different place where you can kick back and relax from being on a strip most people are going to want to have a sectional couch then have two chairs so just for entertainment space that edge is going to go to caesar's now let's check out the views if you don't get a fountain view room at bellagio you're more than likely going to have a city view which is what you see here so you get to see parts of the city of vegas you can also actually see caesar's palace across the way and parts of the building at bellagio in the Caesars room, you actually have floor to ceiling windows with also a city view. So you can see that same tower at Bellagio, but this one actually had a slight strip view and a slight fountain view. So comparing both of these rooms, when you want to go view for view, they both give you a city view. You can actually see each other's towers from the opposite room, which is kind of crazy to do this versus battle. But the simple fact that you have floor to ceiling windows, you get a slight strip view and you can see part of the fountains at Bellagio from the Caesars room have to give the views to Caesars. So that's my breakdown of both of these luxury rooms. As you can see, both of these are very nice luxury rooms. The Bellagio room has pros to some things. The Caesars room have pros to other things. But this is a battle, and at the end of a battle, there has to be a scorecard to determine a winner. So let's go to the scorecard and break down our options to see who wins this battle. Now, first on the scorecard, we have size. Now, if look, after looking at both of these rooms, it's probably not even a question which room is bigger. And it's probably the Caesars room by a landslide. Well, this is actually why layout plays a big factor in the rooms versus simply square footage. According to the hotel site, the Bellagio Resort King room is 510 square feet compared to the Octavius King room, which is 550 square feet. So size for size, as it was probably apparent, the Caesars room is bigger. But again, this is why layout is very important because it's only a 40 square foot difference between both of these rooms. But if you look at them, you would think that it's much more. Second on the scorecard, we have location. There's not really much to talk about location. Bellagio is considered the center of the Vegas Strip because everyone goes to Vegas. Everyone wants to see the fountain show. And it's always been symbolized as the center of the Strip. These properties are side by side, but Bellagio is the center of the Strip. And if you're in the center, you win. So location goes to Bellagio. Third on the scorecard, we have price. Now for the sake of this battle, because pricing always changes in Vegas, it varies what weekend you're going, what day of the week you're going, and if there's any major events, you can never have a consistent price. So for this battle, we're gonna pick three random weekends, and whichever room has the cheaper price, two of the three weekends will be the winner. The first random weekend was a weekend in April. At the Bellagio Resort King, it was $863.96 with taxes and resort fees. That comes out to $288 a night. The Caesars Octavius room was $846.95 with taxes and resort fees that totals out to $283 a night. So the first night would go to Caesars. Second random weekend was in July. The price for the Bellagio Resort King was $1,013.62 with taxes and resort fees that totals out to $338 a night. 
the Octavius King Room at Caesars was $1,153.07, with taxes and resort fees that comes out to $385 a night, making Bellagio cheaper this second random weekend. The third random weekend in September for the Bellagio Resort King was $1,120.19, with taxes and resort fees that totals out to $374 a night. The Octavius King Room at Caesars was $1,232.44, with taxes and resort fees that totals out to $411. So the winner of the price battle goes to Bellagio, since the rates are cheaper at Bellagio two of the three weekends. Fourth on the list, we have amenities. Now, truthfully, when it comes down to amenities, they both have walk-in showers, they both have toilets, they both have soaking tubs, but the obvious amenity is the jacuzzi tub. Most people who go to Vegas would love to have a jacuzzi tub. A lot of people desire a jacuzzi tub. That amenity alone would give the edge to Caesars, but when you also factor in that there's actually like a living room space with a sectional couch, that just really takes things over the top, not to even factor in the fact that there's floor to ceiling windows. So for amenities, that edge is gonna go to Caesars. Last on the list, we have views. Now, if this Bellagio was a fountain view and the Caesars Palace room was a strip view, it would probably be not a question who would win the battle of these views, but these particular rooms were just basic rooms, no upgraded view rooms. And as you saw in the Bellagio, you were able to get a city view. You could also see Caesars Palace and some of the Bellagio Tower, where from the Caesars room, you also had a city view, but you got a slight strip view and a slight view of the fountains. Most people are gonna take the floor to ceiling windows along with the city view and parts of the water show view as well as view of the strip. So for this battle, the views is gonna go to Caesars Palace. So the winner of this battle based off of our scorecard, and I'm even gonna say the winner of this battle by a slight margin and a couple of amenities is gonna be the Caesars Octavius King Room. Now let me know what you think in the comments who you actually thought won this battle. Would you have taken the Bellagio Resort King Room or do you believe the Caesars Octavius King Room was the actual winner in this battle and offer more. Share your thoughts in the comments below and let me know what you think. Also, let me know what other hotels you like to see go head to head, or what other hotel rooms and suites you like to see go head to head in a future versus series. I appreciate all the support. I appreciate all of the feedback. And that's gonna do it for this episode of TVP Versus. If you all enjoyed the video, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe if you're new, and as always, thanks for watching.